previously on Skyrim, The Legend of Maxentius. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? Traitor! Out of my way! Escaping Hadvar. You're not stopping us this time! Fine! I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard! You! Come on! Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? To bring us in the end times? You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Jarl dragon Falcon is lurking in the mountains. Will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. Enough! I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and... Rumors of dragons. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. My name is Carewin. Most everyone just calls me Carrie. I'm here. I'm here looking for something. But I don't much know my way around. You look like someone who can handle himself. Would you mind if I travel with you? Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls me. Barrow and got that? Nice work. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. Dead? Let's make sure that an overgrown lizard is really dead. I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. You've done a great service for me and my city, dragonborn. By my right as Yar, I name you Thane of Whiterun. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. 
He thought he deserved it more than Torek. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... He simply ceased to be. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived Helgen. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you. One of us continue to fight this insurrection, lest our fallen brothers have died for naught, lest our honor be lessened, should we allow these bloodthirsty beasts to prowl our lands. We Guilty of insurrection, murder of Imperial citizens, the assassination of King Torek, and high treason against the Empire. It's over. I have some fresh recruits with more skill than you. That'll get you to cross me. Alfric, you can't escape from me this time. Any last requests before I send you to... to wherever you people go when you die? Let the Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Talos be with you. What was that, Liggett? Nothing. The rebellion is over. Alfric Stormcloak is dead. Proud of all of you. All hail the Emperor. All hail his legionnaires. Hello my lords and ladies, I'm Pritchdock and welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of The Legend of Maxentius. 
So, uh, Mesectius, uh took a couple of weeks off. Um, not really, didn't really take it off. I mean, he he kind of stayed away from from battle and things like that. Um, you know, he figured he's now the thing of White Run, so he um, you know wanted to focus in on on his duties as Thane, um, and discovered that you know the the title of Thane was is is great and all, but um, doesn't pay anything. So. Um, couldn't really afford his own place, so he, he stayed with, um, with Elvor and, and, um, Sigrid and, um, helped around the, um, um, the forge and, um, did some hunting and things like that to try to make some ends meet. Um, but, you know, dur during this time, he, his sleep has been restless and, um, having, having horrible nightmares of, of dragons and, and things like that, so... He's now thinking that he needs to go see the Greybeard, so we're gonna gear ourselves up and um, start our journey. So one of the things we, we want to do is we, we're going to um, we're gonna go find our crew. Let's see. Yeah, we're all geared up. Oh, we need our weapons. Let's see. Ah, that looks much better. All right, let's get some of these uh, positioned here. Let's see if we can find um, where everybody went. Hopefully they, they want to uh, follow us in our journey. I mean, we, we kept in touch with, with pretty much everybody here and there, you know. Uh, particularly Lydia because, you know, we, we did we did things as, duties as, as a battle, thing, friend. you know, and she uh, protected me and, and everything. Elmore, I want to thank you for your hospitality, but I am going to um, head off on a journey. Good luck to you and uh, Sigrid, and hopefully we'll see each other again. All right. So actually, the first place we're going to look, we'll look here. Um, not sure where. Papa says you're friendly up. with strangers, but you seem all right. Last time we saw her was in White Run. Hey, Edvar. I ever wonder if maybe we should call a truce with the Stormcloaks, join forces for just a little while, and take care of some of these dragons? Yeah. I don't think so. Carrie, you're that visitor, Ben. No, you're not Carrie. You're Delphine. Yeah. Have you seen Carrie around here anywhere? You? Yeah. We got rooms and food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. All right, she's not here, so she must still be in White Run. We'll, we'll go there, which is kind of convenient. That's where everybody else is. We'll get our horse. Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. So one of the things I did figure out is on the. Um, the... Now. There's someone there. Uh -oh. Okay. We'll come back to what I was about to say in a little bit. <laughs> Apparently, we have a dragon up in battle. Oh, Alvar, please be careful. Oh, there's a there is a mod that. Oh god. That people run away. I like Lydia, didn't I? Oh. This 
may not be the, the best thing to have in there. Slay it! Slay the dragon! But we had the dragon bone, we can do this. Everybody else I'm worried about. On you. Alright, do I have any healing potions? I think I used them all. Well, we do have a resist bolt, so we'll see what that does for us. You can never tell if he's landed or not. I'll rip your heart out. I get to Gotta use the roof. Try to stay out of his attack. I kill you. I 
kill you. Oh, that was, that's odd. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this guy's just walking around with you, okay? Come on, Dragon Man. down. Here, so yeah. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. It kind of makes a nice little ornament, doesn't it? In all my years, I've never seen 
That's still moving a little bit. But it's dead. Are we going to hit the chicken? What are you doing? Maybe. What are you looking at? Alright, well. Oh no, he's like this. Oh no, where is my horse? Okay, now the thing moves out of my way. Yeah, not my horse, sorry. Alright. All right, off to White Run. The other way. Onward. Let's put on a cloak before we end up dying from pneumonia or something. Like that. I can't wait to tell Carrie and Lydia and Janessa are all about the dragon in Riverwood. Looks like everybody survived okay. Alright, so it's not coming up. There it goes. It was kind of nice just, you know, staying in one spot for a little while. You know, but, you know, Maxentius kind of misses the adventure a little bit. And, um, yeah, hopefully, once we, we visit the Greybeards, you know, we'll shed some light on what's going on and the nightmares will stop. You know, and you might realize that it's just, it's just superstitious nonsense. Still can't explain what's happening from every time we kill the dragon. So there is that. The ladies aren't mad at me for kind of abandoning them a little bit. I mean, I know Lady is not, but no. we, we weren't really doing any kind of adventuring or anything, so you know, it's, it's better off if they go on their own. What were they really going to do? Watch me run around and talk to people and make sure everybody was okay? I mean, Carrie was looking for something, we're not quite sure what. Janice is always looking for adventure. And Lydia just is Lydia. She's my house Carl and to the, to the day I die. Now let's see if we have anything we can uh, sell here too. We're keeping these for, as a souvenir. When we get a house, we're gonna display those proudly. But it doesn't look like he's really anything we want to sell, but I'm going to stick some stuff in
that somebody fell or something. Alright, let's see if Janessa's here. She may be off on an adventure on her own, or maybe somebody else hired her. You never know. She is? Need something? Hey. My patron appears once more. Have you need of my blade? You have chosen wisely. Lead on, and I shall follow. Okay. Uh, let's see, I just make sure everything is is good here. Okay. Lead on then. So you you charged me another five hundred gold. I mean I gave you some really nice equipment. But okay. I mean, I'm a rich man, right? What do I have? Two thousand gold? Okay. You're worth it. Just thought we were closer than that. But I guess you're probably still mad at me. I know you wanted to keep going out and maybe do some treasure hunting and what are you stuff like that. And perhaps we will. Even if you are my elder. Right. I work for Bellathor at the general goods store. Like Alright, Gary's probably going to be really good for this. I mean, we've seen each other here and there, so... But... She might be kind of happy too, if you want she really anything. wanted me to kind of... Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere? Kind of make this trip, <clears> so... <throat> there she is. Why, hello there! You're not talking to her, are you? Hey, Carrie. Uh, need your help. Please Lead on. Me. Oh, that, that was easy. I'm right behind you. So let's see, I want to ask you something. I want to see if you'll tell me what's going on. Yes? Yeah. What's with these assassins? I don't know what to say. I'm here on behalf of my temple to seek... What? Seek more I can't say right now. Oh. Hey, fine. Alright, so I have Gary and I have Janessa back. This is great. Alright, let's go find Lydia. Happy to see you too. Need something? You're the best. Can you be my father? Oh, I, I would, I would. I have to really take care of myself. Perhaps someday. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Long life to you, Thane. Lead the way. All right. One of the new servants. The group Remember that is I like back together. Career. All right. So, ladies, Ulfric has made we it are going to go visit the great. In his mind, to refuse his claim to know side with the what Empire. What's all about? But first, I want to talk. The about Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Yeah, five thousand. Perhaps I can assist you. Okay. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. We need money, but I really want... I mean, you have a nice suit of armor. You're, you're doing pretty good. I'd like to get you something nice, too. And Carrie, you always have something different to wear, so you're all set. Well, let's head on out. Actually, I want to talk to you for a second. Hmm. If that is what you wish... You would look better in the black one. Lead on. Now you had switched, didn't you? You had your 
Another one, huh? Yeah, see that looks much better. And yours look better with the black. Hey, it's all about fashion. Alright, let's go. Ugh. Oh, you know what? I wanted to, um... I'm gonna go back in there. I wanted to disenchant. See if I can disenchant some of the buttons that I have. Sorry, ladies. Go back in. <laughs> they must be used to me by now. Not knowing where I'm going. And what is it? Dragons? Like that. Sell They're all set. That was like, yeah, whatever. All right. Let's see. That is kind of a souvenir too. I mean, it, General Charlie used to give it to me. So. And this is, um, I think I got that from Yofra, so, or did I get it from, um, that other guy? Don't remember. But yeah, that we can disenchant. Okay. That's good, we learned some stuff there, that's good. I think we're going to go to um, get some hmm. healing potions. I was thinking about making my own potions, but, you know, you got to learn all the different, um, different things. You got to try them all out. And, eh, I might as well just buy them. I mean, I'm definitely going to do smithing, so, you know, there's that. But may maybe potions later on, I don't know. For now, I think we need money. Mister, could you spare a coin? It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. A few seconds. You tried mercenary work? Oh, why ask? I we'll go ahead. We'll sell her. And then we'll just buy potions from her. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. You look rather pale. Could so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I uh, am. Yeah. All right, let's see. I mean, some of them are not worth a lot, but. Some aren't worth anything, so I might as well just keep them. Just in case I do decide to, uh. Going back and forth. I thought I was hitting enter. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, what do you have for potions? I need healing potions. You need to build up in your stock, lady. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. You have, why can't I buy these? All right, let's go. Right, let's see what California is. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Have you seen you before? Sleeping. Everything's for sale, my friend. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, let's see. Um, you don't have anything in here. Let's see, what can I sell you? I don't think this is better than anybody else's. Is it? Oh, actually, it's better than what I'm using. Huh. I still like the way that looks, so maybe I'll give that to, uh, maybe I'll give that to Janessa. Probably should be wearing that while I'm trying to sell stuff, but... Oh, I gotta put my shoulder pad on, too. 
think so though. Alright, well. Do come back. Guess that's really it. Alright, where's Janessa? Need something? Even though you charge me five hundred what you wish. Here, so a new sword. What do you have? Focus Saber 18. I wonder if you use this over the deck. That's 26. It's a big difference, isn't it? Okay. Lead on then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you look better with that than I would. Alright. Let's go. I assure you, I. Well met, Traveler. There's been talk amongst the gods. Ninja like me. Mercenary road kind of looking. City's quiet enough now. Sun goes down. Where is it? Let's keep on your go. Let's go. It's gonna be a, a wet ride. going to um, way of the voice right okay right eh. <laughs> remove it thank you okay so hi Rothgar we have to go all the way to Ivanstead so um, I mean we've been through this so many times so maybe we'll just take the carriage because I don't think we're gonna come across anything new um, and then we'll head up to see the Grey Bears. What is it? Dragons? And the people in, in Iverstick were afraid of something in the, in the burrows up there. So maybe after we talk to the Grey Bears, we'll check into that tomorrow. Yeah. I was close. Take you to any of the hold capitals. Okay. Where do you want to go? We want to go to Ives. Okay. Shall we, ladies? Nice out. Too good. Oh, we got plenty of time too. So let's um uh, have a little snack. We'll go in here. We'll get some water. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. Thank you. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. I'm telling you, if I, I were it, you, howling. I'd keep away Those from the barrow on the east side true. of town. It's haunted. Okay, so all right, filled up my water skins and everything. So I think, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we'll talk more if about. If you're the headed up bit. to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. That's a I have to wonder. Really good advice. What does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum be taught like any skill? Alright. So these are stairs, so we're gonna leave the horses. Um, don't wanna risk their lives. Had enough problems. And we're obviously gonna need our um workbook here. You couldn't possibly be the Dragonborn of Legend, could you? I was wondering if I should grab some 
On Fire your way up now. the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. Do? I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. Oh. The path isn't safe. Why Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Man, those bears. Passing through on my way to High Hrothgar. About to make a delivery up there myself. Yeah. Well, time to gather more supplies, I guess. Um. I wish I could make mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Yeah, what do you get? Well, right it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Well, you know, I'm going up there anyway, so... Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. No problem. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's Man. all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Cool. Anything else you can tell? I've been <clears throat> in the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful. But I wouldn't want to provoke him. All right. Well, thank you very much. Be careful up there. I will. Okay. Well, this is it, ladies. Let's see what's going. Oh. Um. Uh, we have a bear. First shot, I hit you. Spiders. Or spider. Oh, she got my way. No out of practice. We go. Ah, oh, fellow hunter. Oh, you're you're praying. I'm gonna open up. Be rude of me to interrupt them. Play my part. All right, your part is going to be um, go after the ice raid. Come on. 
Get oh, no, not that. Okay. All right, ladies. Don't expect we'll find too much up here anyways. Like this occasional wolf. Ice wreath. That's probably about it. Go. Alright, oh, we're pretty high up now. Time to get colder. Skyrim is just a beautiful game. No matter how many times I play this game, I just love looking around the scenery. It's just beautiful. Alright, let's see. Hello. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Sure. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Huh. Okay. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer don't to leave it at that, if I'm you don't mind. Soul, oh, I don't mind. Okay. Good day. Well, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful. Oh, oh. <laughs> I almost slid. <laughs> I saw that that water right there and saw the reflection. I was like, that is beautiful and just went right off the edge. <laughs> Alright. Not fooling around up here. Alright, off we go. Another embarrassing bumbling moment though. Okay. We have an ice troll. It's one thing about switching back and forth, it changes my stuff. I think with that I have that auto the, the mod for the um brush one. I think I can solve it with that. <laughs> Here it comes.
what else comes our way. Oh, is that on? Okay, remember that place? It's the same one. I'm not getting too close to the edge to find out. Well, I guess the fur cloak's working. I feel comfortable. Oh, lady, I missed you. <laughs> I'm sure you had plenty of time for bets. I mean, look at me. I, I probably should have paid more. I, I grew a little bit more of a beard. For that reason. And I'll get a little scruffy. Silly putting that in there, even though I'm gonna go in. All right. Here we go. Dragonborn appears <laughs> at this fun. moment in the turning of the age. Uh, you call me Dragonborn. Oh, I, I kind of know what that means. I'm answering your song. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Okay. Um, let's see. Just anywhere? Shout at us. Let yep. us taste of your voice. Right. Boost! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Um... Yeah, I want to find out what it means to you. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. So I'm not the only one. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Okay. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn 
words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. I've seen these letters before. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Alright. Yeet! Oh, um, Derek? I might want to move Derek. Alright, um, Yeah, see, I'm gonna fail this. Alright. Yeet! <laughs> Sorry, honey. Force! No! Well done. Thank you. Again. Gary, can you please? Yeet! Go sa! That's really bad. Uh, Alright. No! You learn quickly. Than that, yeah, like, what, I, Once more. Yeet! Go sa! No! Okay. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Who's Mr. Porter? Oh, that's you. Okay, let's go. Hello. How are you? Unforgiving, but beautiful too. We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Okay. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. I really miss my friend. I liked playing cards with Lexi after bed. She'd almost always win. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bordy and he will gift you his knowledge of wool. Master Bori. Rex! Wolf! Attack! Now, your turn. Stand next to me, Master Bori. Alright, hold on. They will open the gate. 
Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. Quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Just it was easy no, to indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay. So yeah, I have a couple of questions for you. Um, yeah, are the dragons re returning have anything to do with them? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Okay. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to <clears> understand <throat> it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. I, no, that I has know been more. the downfall of many dragonborn before you. I just want to know more about what's going on. Um, all right, so who was Durgan? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Okay. Uh... Speaking to a goddess is overwhelming for many. All right, well, I think that's, that's it for now. Sky above, voice within. I don't know, what do you, what do you think? Gary, what do you think? I mean, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go for this one, right? I mean... Find out more about what, what's going on. I think we're in agreement. Okay, I mean, I'm not too sure about this whole... ...thing here. I mean, they, they have their beliefs. And that's nice and everything, but... You know, I, I think, um... We need to figure out more what's going on. Uh, and I think by doing that, we're, we'll get the horn and, and um, see what else they can teach me. So, with that, I'm going to end it here. Um, we have another long journey ahead of us, so um, probably try to rest up here. Uh, if, if we can't, we'll, we'll head back down to the uh, to Ivanstead and, and rest up there. Um, maybe we'll check out that burrow before we go, I'm not sure. But uh, for now, uh, that's it. Uh, Thank you for watching. Please remember to hit that like button and to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.